How to Tame My Anxiety Monster Do you want to know a secret? There's a monster that likes to visit me that only I can see. Sometimes he feels big and scary. Sometimes he likes to visit me when I'm scared or worried or sometimes when I'm happy or just playing. I don't always like when he visits me. Sometimes he feels big and scary. Sometimes he makes me feel tired and it's hard to concentrate. Sometimes it is hard to sleep. I feel restless when he's around and often I feel angry. Sometimes my heart beats faster and I might start shaking, sweating, or my tummy may hurt. I might also feel dizzy too or like I can't breathe. I don't like this at all. I decided to talk to my parents about it. I thought they wouldn't believe me, but they did. Mom has a monster that visits her too. Her monster is just like mine. She told me some things about her monster. Our monsters are very similar. He really is a good monster to have around. He wants to be helpful, but he's big and gets excited easily. He doesn't always know how to behave, just like a new puppy. I just need to learn how to train him. When I talk about my monster to someone else that understands, it feels good. There are some tricks that I can teach him so he will learn to behave. Do you want to know my monster's name? His name is Anxiety. Giving him a name makes him not quite so scary. It's like naming a new pet. Learning more about him helps me understand him and why he likes to visit me so much. I am brave and strong and can train him even when he might seem big or scary. I do feel brave. Here are some things I can do to train my monster. When I get outside to play, go on a walk, or exercise, it can give me special super boosters called endorphins. It makes him a happy monster that can be helpful to me with sports or other activities. When I do yoga, breathe deeply, and clear my mind from worries, it can help him shrink. That's kind of neat. When I do art, it calms me and can help me see that he's not so big and not quite so scary. I don't think he looks so scary now. When my monster gets a little too big and wild, having a plan helps me stay in control. He likes to be helpful, but sometimes he gets a little too big and wild. He doesn't always know how to behave. Planning what to do if he acts up can help me tame him. It's helpful to know that lots of people have an anxiety monster that likes to visit them too. My aunt, my neighbor, and my friend. When he is really bothering me, remembering my five senses helps to keep me in control. I can look at something that makes me happy. I can smell something nice. I can touch something that has texture. I can listen to something that makes me feel peaceful. I can taste something delicious. All of these tricks take my focus off my monster, which can calm him down. If I need a little extra help learning how to train him, there are special doctors or counselors that can help me. My monster likes to visit me because I have a very big, kind, caring heart that feels emotions very deeply, and that is a really good thing. He really does want me to feel all of my special feelings without being afraid. He can be really helpful when I'm playing sports or if I have to talk in front of the class. He can even be helpful if I have a big test to study for. He loves to do scary fun things with me, like go for a ride on a roller coaster. I am stronger than my monster. Even with him around, I can still do all of the things I need to do. I don't think he'll be a problem anymore. But if he is, I know how to tame my anxiety monster. The end. Thank you so much for listening. Be sure to check out the links in the description box. I'll see you in the next story time.